Hi there, this is Nancy from InMotion. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this creative stencil or cutout text effect. This is a cool effect that you can use on things like posters, magazine covers, flyers, websites, whatever your imagination can think of. You can use any font, although a chunky font might be best, and then use it to cut out from any shape that you like. So let's get to it. For this demonstration here, I'm going to use this wonderful image of rows and rows of books. And because I'm feeling super creative, I'm going to type the word reading over it. I'll leave a link to this photo if you want to use the same one, but obviously use any one that you have. Any picture can be used for this technique. The first thing we need to do is to choose a shape. I'm just going to choose a rectangle. Usually the default fill for the shape is red, but I'd like to have mine to be white. So I'm just going to head up to the color fields area here, click on that and choose white. Then select the move tool. So when we see those two red lines with the cross in the middle, we know we have it perfectly centered. Now it's time to choose our text. So go to the toolbar and select the type tool and then choose whatever font you want. As I said, something quite chunky might be a good idea. So just a tip, when you go to type your text, for this effect to work, you need to actually not type on the white box yet. You need to type outside of it. Otherwise, like I say, it just won't work. So type what you want outside the box. I'm going to type the word reading. Then use the move tool to move the text onto the white rectangle. And you can use those red lines as you can see them appearing, which gives you a guideline to your text being centered. Once that's done, go to the text layer and make sure the text layer is actually selected. Then we need to click on the T, press, Control if you're on the PC or Command if you're on the Mac. This will select the pixels of the text, which you can see reflected in the history panel up here. Next, we want to go back onto the shape layer, then go up to where it says layer in the menu, click on that, go to raster mask and select a hide selection. Now we can go and turn the eye off our text and we can see that we have that cool stencil effect. And we can move it around wherever we want and change the shape a little bit. And that's how you can get a really interesting cut out design. So hope you have fun using this effect. Please like this video if it was helpful and you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe See you in the next video. Bye for now.